freedom. Freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. Relationships. I am attracted to those who serve my higher good. So I guess people are trying to have relationships where it serves their higher good. <clears throat> to create their own happiness. positive determination and self-control career advancement acknowledgement of success by others chariot also means it's a major arcana that someone could be walking away from the highest good. Why are they walking away that they don't have self-control about? Or maybe they feel like there's no freedom with friendships. They don't have self-control. Why do they feel like that? A new emotional situation messages regarding relationships or social events. Great intuitive insight. So I guess that's a new emotional situation. Maybe somebody feels emotional. Possibly they don't know how to control themselves about relationships. But it's saying that you need to use intuitive insight about your decision. So, freedom, relationships, maybe somebody feels like there's no control. That they feel like walking away. Or there's emotional situations about relationships. Now maybe somebody feels like there's no freedom. Because they don't know how to control themselves in a relationship. That's probably where you need to use your intuition A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your process. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay, so that does make sense. There's somebody who feels like they don't have freedom. They want freedom from people who need to clear up communication problems with others. And that's probably why there's emotional situations. Now maybe somebody doesn't know how to walk away. Or maybe they don't know how to walk away or self-control themselves. With people who don't know how to communicate properly with others. Is what I'm getting. There's... Emotional problems or emotional situations. Self-control. There's an issue. Somebody needs to clear up 
their communication problems with others. So they may have been going around telling people stuff that they could not control themselves at that too. And it brought emotional issues. Somebody needs to use their intuition and need to be very intuitive at this time about what the real problem is to clear up communication problems with others. You know, that's what somebody don't feel freedom about is that, that somebody is causing miscommunication in a relationship and they feel like they cannot get freedom away from it. Love and blessings fill your life. Harmonious relationship with family members. Happily ever after. That could probably be what it is. That they probably want freedom from family relationships because they want harmonious in their life. But somebody needs to clear up communication, meaning somebody is not communicating properly to you or somebody else about somebody's happiness of wanting a happy family with a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. There needs to be some type of passion, opportunity, and inspiration the chance to do something amazing that you can make a situation relationships better and maybe that there's some type of passion opportunity inspiration to change what people are saying <laughs> so that the communication can be cleared up What else is there? Time to move quickly. Choose logic over emotions, a sudden change. Somebody's not being logic about a situation of the miscommunication. Stay determined and move forward. Be prepared for any possibilities. Environment activism. Yeah. There's people that you're having a hard time getting freedom from. People who are not logic. They're all in their emotions. But you also got people in the mix of not self-control. It's bringing emotional problems and miscommunication that somebody is bringing to somebody's relationship. There needs to be a change. There needs to be changes in order for somebody to have the freedom to have a happily ever after. And you can't let people the community, you cannot miscommunicate or mess up communication. If you do not properly communicate with others, this is what's going to happen. It's going to be like you can't control yourself. Success by others. 
could mean that others are trying to take away your freedom of your relationship of what you want to do. But it doesn't help that the community and others are getting in the mix. That needs to be changed. You need to clear up communication if you want to be, you know, freedom to bring your own happiness. And there's people trying to tell you how to be happy, and that's not how it works. It's your lucky day. New resources of money, time, or support. A change in job or position. You could be having co-workers trying to tell you how you should be happy. Or maybe that's where somebody screwed up by not communicating properly to somebody. Because that's what usually happens. When you're at work, that's where the community is. That's a lot of people. But there is miscommunication that really needs to be cleared up. Yeah, time for a celebration, abundant rewards for hard work. Release yourself from burdensome situations. Yeah, there's people trying to bring you burdens and that's probably where you don't know how to control yourself or self-control. That's bringing emotional problems because you don't know how to communicate properly about your relationship. Now you've got others bringing you burdensome that you're going to have to release. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. Yeah, there's going to be important communication about there's a lot of miscommunication that needs to be cleared up. And that there's others trying to control of somebody's happiness. I don't understand. So they pretty much brought burdens to themselves because they're stressed out. They want to be happy. To bring their own happiness. But when you talk about relationship issues to others, that's a good opportunity for someone to try to bring you burdens and bring you emotional problems at that too. Because somebody may take you the wrong way and think. So somebody may have messed up here. Of trying to communicate something about the Queen of Wands. Somebody miscommunicated about the Queen of Wands here. There's people trying to bring burdens. Emotional situations to the table. Because they're not communicating The Queen of Wands is pretty much doing her own thing. She's very independent. She does have self-control. But she's also logic. And she knows that the community is bringing burdensome situations. This woman is going to be getting communication. Important communication. About there was a lot of miscommunication about the relationship. Let me see what else is there miscommunication about. Yeah, you know, when you brag about stuff that you miscommunicated and people thought this is what you meant. That you were going to walk away and that's not what you were trying to explain. And it made you feel backstabbed.
somebody's backstabbing a fire sign by miscommunication by the community and trying to bring burden in emotional situations. They feel backstabbed because of rumors and gossip, meaning like people that are not very nice. And that would make sense. That there's emotional issues that somebody's going to have to clear up and stop talking to everybody and anybody about this Queen of Wands. Because not everybody's going to take you. Like if you're trying to explain something, these people, these people wanted to hear what they think that they want to hear. But somebody feels burden. <clears throat> because people were gossiping, rumor spreading, just, you know, brought burdens to a relationship. It's going to be put to a death, meaning that it's going to be put to a stop. The miscommunication... Pretty much, this is not what somebody was trying to imply. This is not what they were trying to do. So you got to be careful of who you talk to. Because this could be the important communication that somebody screwed up by trying to talk about miscommunication. And somebody took it the wrong way. at the bottom of the deck somebody put themselves in the nine of swords disappointment grief they're very upset that somebody would backstab someone because that's not what they were implying about the queen of wands that's why you got to be very very careful of how you speak about your relationship problems. And Ten of Swords. Somebody backstabbed. Someone. Because they took that opportunity by rumors. Gossip. Now the person is having a hard time. Physically, spiritually, don't know what to do. They feel like it's a disappointment that somebody would take them the wrong way. It's got to be put to a stop, meaning that somebody needs to clear up their communication. What else is this going on? Yeah, attraction. The person probably feels backstabbed. And they brought attraction to backstabbers of not communicating properly. What did they attract, though, about the backstabbers and gossip rumors? What's this about? Yep, trust. They were attracting people who they could not trust. And it could be that the person who was talking about emotional situations to the wrong people, they feel backstabbed, but it could be that their attraction is to walk away from people who made them feel backstabbed, who were spreading rumors, gossip. It's going to be put to a death. That they need to stop trusting everybody and anybody that they're okay to talk to. Yep, it's going to have to change. That's why it came out that people take the opportunity to bring whatever they can. That's why you got to be careful when you try to talk about trying to bring your happiness into a relationship. Because it just caused issues. Jealous of blossoming, grown very beautifully, and people are jealous of this Queen of Wands. Very jealous. They're very jealous of this woman. Very jealous. That's why they try to bring 
gossip rumors, trying to backstab, maybe try to get people to walk away from the Queen of Wands, and it's not going to happen. <laughs> because people don't know how to drop the void. They don't know how to stop their old habits, bad habits. And somebody is going to have gratitude that they're going to have to learn in order to be happy. You cannot be attracting your, it's, it's almost like a, you're attracting people who you think you can trust. And it just led you to backstabbing because they pretty much betrayed you. And there's communication being talked about. That pretty much whatever you said, they may have took it in the wrong way. You could be walking away from the backstabbers who were spreading rumors, gossip, and lies. It's going to be put to a death. It's going to be put to a stop because somebody needs to clear up communication in the community. <laughs> That somebody tried to bring burdens and it needs to be shut the fuck down. There's people having gratitude of understanding this is not very positive. They're starting to understand this to a somewhat degree. It's not. It's not positive. It's bringing negativity. So, let's find out a little bit more. You cannot be... Attracting a lot of people because they may not be trust, but you can trust that it does need to change. The void needs to stop old behaviors. If you're wanting happiness and freedom in a relationship, you're going to have to stop talking because a lot of people, you know, Healer of ages, yep. God is offering love, healing. Anybody who try to bring you burdens, they're, God is offering you healing. Angel number could be 4451. Yeah. Angel number 4451. Let me see, what is about Eight of Cups and Trust? And somebody believes that they're not going to walk away because somebody secretly backstabbed somebody. And they didn't think that somebody was going to walk away. Let's find out. Yeah, it brought somebody anxiety of trusting somebody of what they were talking about. You can't trust so, pretty much, somebody's walking away from somebody who gave them anxiety, who took them the wrong way. Angel number for Eight of Cups and Trust, 3218. Let me see, what is backstab and change? Somebody's going to have to learn. You can't trust everybody and anybody because they just backstabbed you. Pretty bad. Somebody betrayed you in a worst way that that's what people do. And they don't think, you know. Backstab, change, the journey. Angel of love. Now I'm taking this two different ways. Angel number 35-2 or 35 two. 49 or 39 I don't know why I said 39 okay 39 or 49 angel of love is here yep somebody got backstabbed because of love they were talking about trying to make the relationship better and how can they do it Somebody just backstabbed somebody's love and trust really bad. They backstabbed 
a love. They may have had love for these people, but they just backstabbed you. Meaning that they wanted to destroy your love for a person. That's why it brought them anxiety. And it's a victory that somebody is going to be learning that you cannot be. It's a victory. It's a triumph. It's a victory about change. That maybe somebody felt like it was victorious when they backstabbed you and took you the wrong way in the miscommunication. Somebody literally thought that they were taking your kindness for weakness. Now let's go to Page of Swords and Blossoming Jealous that you're a beautiful soul. Let me see. Angel number 3342. So these people were, Page of Swords were gossiping, rumor, because you're blossoming. But they were. That they were gossiping because they were probably saying that you probably don't have much. You don't have much to offer. But they're jealous of you. Because they try to bring you burdens. They're trying to do everything and anything to bring heartbreak into a situation. And that's not okay. And also trying to break... Your love for someone. What else is the gossip about? Why are they jealous about blossoming? That too. Yeah. Corn, cornucopia. They know that you have a love of cornucopia. It's very blessed, loving, caring. Very abundant, very lovely. And the angel of balance. That's also why they're jealous. Because they know this woman, they're probably talking bad about her because she don't have much. But it's going to bring angel of balance. Whoever miscommunicated, whoever tried to bring drama, backstabbing, betrayal. It's going to bring the balance back to a situation where it's a little bit more calmer and they need to get freedom away from these people who are secretly backstabbing them because they enjoy it. Somebody has to learn. You can't talk to everybody. Have patience. Have patience at this time that everything will work out. That eventually a person is going to learn to walk away from backstabbers who try to get them all tied up to where they are trying to make it to where they're trying to make this fire sign feel like you try to betray them. And that's not the case, but they got them all tied up. And it's going to be put to a death. And somebody's going to have to drop. The void of trying to make somebody all tied up when they don't want to be there. The burden sums. Let me see. What is for the void? Death meaning situation is going to get more calmer. It's going to be put to a stop. Thank you. Yep. Second chakra. Put a death to it. Meaning like a situation is going to be put to a stop. Because of people's bad habits. And they're going to have to work on their second chakra. Angel number 136. And it was because somebody wanted to get with someone just because of money. Or because they were trying to put it in their head that this fire sign doesn't make money. It was something about somebody was trying to make somebody 
feel in a certain way, but you love for somebody for who they are. Money does not bring happiness. It will only bring trouble, drama, and that needs to change. Okay. Money does not solve all your problems. Yeah. Have patience. Have patience. Actually, that came out twice. So I'm going to go ahead and put that down. Have patience to everything will work out and it will bring door to personal healing and happiness. That's where the healer of, yeah, healer of ages. God is offering the door to personal healing and happiness to what people have done to you or trying to do to you about a fire sign they try to get you to think less of this person you don't do that yeah the the temple path they're trying to make you feel that this person doesn't respect themselves that's going to be put to a stop so there are people running that mouth my nose is itchy, probably confirmation that they were trying to say this and that, but truthfully, the one pointing the finger are the ones who are rumors gossiping are the ones who don't respect themselves. If you really truthfully think about it, they truthfully don't respect themselves because they miscommunicated. Yeah, attachments. They have attachments to... People who wants to backstab them and to spread rumors and gossip and there's going to need change. And going to have to get rid. You attract attention or attachments to trusting the wrong people. There's attachments here. That somebody's wearing a false mask. They're not being their authentic self. You have attachments to people who have anxiety, who don't want to change. Because they know they betrayed you. They stabbed you in the back and they tried to get you to walk away from someone. Which is gonna not going to work. Just by rumors and gossip. That is really pathetic here. Have patience. That's divine timing. Things will work out in a good way. You just have to learn that money, again, does not bring you happiness. Somebody has to have the patience to understand <laughs> that door to value would only bring trouble, burdensomes, and a lot of bad habits that somebody needs to change. So pretty much somebody thinks that you don't value yourself. Or they feel in some type of way that they feel like this fire sign is not fit. The miscommunication. And it keeps popping out. Yeah. That pretty much the temple, that's what it is. Somebody's not respecting themselves and have patience, door to value, that the community is not respecting themselves. Because if they had respect for somebody's relationship and temple, the community wouldn't even get in the middle of it. The community tried to bring burdens because they thought they had the world in their hands. That somebody's going to have to work on the fifth chakra. Yeah. Literally the community thought that they had you. By their world. Meaning they thought they had you. To where you would treat somebody like crap. Yeah. The community is gossiping. Rumor. Talking very bad. Because they're jealous, they're envious, they don't know how to drop it, they don't know how to change. 
and they're trusting the wrong people that the community will backstab you in a heartbeat. That's why Clara communication, the magician in the mirror, it's all smoke and mirrors, meaning that your mind is so fucking clouded that these people were trying to say, oh, you're an easy target. Ooh, let's mess with this person. It's a mirror. It's smoke and mirrors, pretty much. It's them projecting onto it. And the goddess of the moon knew, knew to a somewhat degree that the thinking man had this strategized, or th this could be a thinking man or a woman. It's a lot in the community. Knew. This fire sign knew that this was all in a strategy planned out. They knew that somebody was going to get backstabbed. They knew that somebody was trying to pull something. Smoke and mirrors mean an illusion. That's why it says, be patient. Door to value ain't shit. You need to respect yourself because it's a mirror of what they're doing. Goddess of the moon stepped in. Somebody's spiritual gifts went ding, ding, found out what's going on. That the community strategized to try to bring you burdens because they don't like you. Because you're calling out that they need to stop miscommunicating. So pretty much that people purposely were doing miscommunication. They purposely done it to bring trouble and not unnecessary burdens to a relationship. They were trying to make somebody feel like they weren't having their freedom, but these people are mirroring, meaning that whenever they talk, rumor, whatever, that could be something that they're doing. And this was purposely strategized. And that's why the magician in the mirror is saying the reasons why you got to be careful what you talk about is because there's eight of cups, ten of swords, and page of swords. It's going to be put to a death that the strategy that they try to pull, it's not working. And because they think that you're, you're nothing. And a thinking man, and I believe it's a thinking woman too. It could be both trying to do this. And this is really sad. But you will get important communication about people who did not have self-control. That brought emotional situations from the community. People who try to bring burden. People were all up in their emotions, not thinking logically. And that somebody is going to have to understand you can't trust everybody and anybody. Now, there's people who have anxiety because they try to change somebody's journey. Mm -mm. You can't do that. Whatever was written in their book by God, if they were meant to have a relationship and you try to come in and gung-ho it, it will never work in your favor. If God put it in your book. That you are meant to be with somebody. You cannot destroy it. That will bring people karma. The worst karma of your life. Send back to sender. I'm going to show the cards and then I'll get off of here. But yeah. Pretty much somebody learned. That they have to be careful on how they speak upon somebody because it brought somebody really weird a state of mind that there's too much miscommunication about something. The community 
a lot of people were in the mix. Try to bring burdens to a situation to a fire sign. Trying to make somebody walk away from a fire sign, but not not understanding that these people took your kindness for weakness because they backstabbed you and they're talking about it. That you pretty much were manipulated to hurt a fire sign. And you got backstabbed and it's going to be put to a death, meaning the situation's going to stop. You need to stop attracting, trusting everybody. Because it will backstab you, betrayal. It needs to change. That's why half these people got anxiety. Because they tried to change the journey. Because they're jealous of this person. Because they think that this person is nothing. But God don't see it like that. Now, drop the void. Smoke and mirror. Somebody knew that this Queen of Wands already knew that this was already in a strategy that people were trying to do this. Thinking man, thinking woman, they had this all figured out. So they thought by bringing you someone new that they thought you were going to fall for something and you will be getting some type of important communication. But it puts somebody in grief, sadness, disappointment. They can't believe that after these people backstabbed a person, that's why they have anxiety. Because whoever they were talking to tried to make them walk away from this person they are walking away from backstabbers and naysayers which got put to a stop if god had it in your book who you're meant to be with that's the self-control that you have to learn self-control and not let people take your kindness for weakness and that's why it brought Emotional problems to a relationship because you don't have self-control. And there was miscommunication. Brought burdens. Brought people in the mix. Which brought betrayal. Needs to change. Stop trusting everybody. God's offering love, forgiveness, healing. They're jealous of somebody's journey. That was written in the book. They're talking rumor gossip. That they can't drop the void. They were trying to say they don't respect their body. But it's only smoke and mirrors. Because it's the other way around. And a fire sign knew. That this was all strategized. About relationship issues. Of what may have occurred. I'm not for sure. But this is all I got. I hope you guys have a nice day. <laughs>